Hello everybody, it's me, the Pinnacle Queen. And I am giving you some fantastic news. I am starting personal readings. That's right. I am starting personal readings. Um, the information will be in the description box, but I'm just going to go ahead and tell you a quick overview. Um, I will provide you, like I said, with the email across your screen. And what will happen, you will email me six questions. Six questions, of, um, but I have no health questions. No health questions, please. Um, I just, I, I have a thing about health questions and I just do not do health questions. So that's a disclaimer. No health questions. I ask anything else except for health questions because I feel that that is something that's between you and the medical profession. Okay. That's my disclaimer on that one. Now, okay. Getting back to what I was saying, you will give uh, write out six questions, email them to me. My information for my email will be in the description box and across the screen. The cost of that will be $50. Now, you will email me your questions. I will send you confirmation that I have received your questions. And then we will proceed with payment uh, via PayPal, via Cash App. The information, of course, is in my box already. Okay, with that, when you receive the payment, then I will provide with you a unlisted video. Um, link from YouTube and these questions and answers will be intuitively answered for you. Okay. Like I said, I don't just, I do my regular readings, no person, um, no reversals, uh, anything like that. And it's going to be intuitively answered for you. Like how I do all my readings now. I just felt like it was time to just go ahead and reach out to the masses and reach to you more on a personal level. And I appreciate y'all so much for the love and support that you give me. And I couldn't do this quest without you. So I thank you so much. Like I said, the information will be in the description box. This is a quick overview um, that I'll provide the email across the screen so you can look at it. Um, by the time you read this message, I will have officially opened the question. Um, with that, what else? Um, does I ask the turnaround time be at least five days? And I know you may say, wow, that's a long time. Well, this work is not easy and it does require a lot of energy. Not to mention, I do have a personal life outside of me doing um, the work as a pinnacle queen. So I just please just allow me five days for turnaround. But I promise you will have your um, personal link through YouTube with your questions answered to you. And just give me like five days to do that. And I know you will because y'all are a bunch of wonderful people in my community. And I appreciate you so much. And I can feel the love all the time. Okay. All right, um, so we're going to start this venture out um, by the end of this week, and let's see how it goes. And with that, I'm just happy and just trying something new and different, and we're in the journey for us together. So let's hold hands uh, energetically, and let's just go for it. All right, now, after this video, this quick video right here, we will go into your Zodiac reading for the month of April of 2023. Thank you so much for your time and your patience for listening to me ramble for the past three minutes. All right. I love you and have a great day. Now go watch your Zodiac signs. Bye. All right, Aquarius, this is your reading for April 2023. Just want to let you know that there will be no reversals for this reading and all readings, but it's going to be intuitive. So let's start. All right, we're going to start the light seers tarot deck. Get your overall energy and then finish up with some oracle, so oracle, oracle. So let's get on the good foot and let's roll. All right, Aquarius, April of 2023. All right, let's see what we have. We have the King of Cups. All right, let's get one more. All right. And we have the, ooh, High Priestess. Okay. A lot of blue energy. I'm liking that because my favorite color. So what I'm seeing for Aquarius, insight is what I'm seeing with you. You're gaining insight. You're gaining knowledge, which is interesting because when I just finished up um, Capricorn, theirs was all about knowledge and it had a lot of knowledge and education. So with you, Aquarius, I'm seeing that you're gaining a lot of maybe like intuition. You're gaining a lot of 
knowledge, downloads, and everything. Um, so let's think about this Aquarius. You are, uh, what's a good way of saying this? You are an open book to knowledge. Um, knowledge is power. Knowledge is key. Knowledge, yeah, knowledge is key. Okay, let's start with your Oracle of the Unicorns, my dear Aquarius, for the month of April uh, 2023. Okay, ooh, we have Innocence. Take time to play, nurture your inner child, live with the childlike sense of wonder. Okay, we have Possibilities. Raise your standards, elevate your expectations, and you have unlimited potential. That's like with the High Priestess energy and the King of Cup energy. You are at the top. You have unlimited possibility because you are just so high in the air with the King of Cups and the High Priestess. All right, I'm going to get two more. Oh, thank you. Okay, wait, that's too many. I say two more, please. Two more, two more. Okay, one. All right, we have rebirth. Reinvent yourself, give life to your dreams, and create a new reality. Like I was saying right here, that's giving me so much of the high priestess king cup energy. I just need one more, please. One more for the unicorns for Aquarius of April 2023. Thank you. And we have patience. Pause before you take action. Trust the divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. And that's what I'm getting when I look at the high priestess card and the king of cups. That you are in a sense of patience with your eyes closed. You're meditating and you are being patient right now. So Aquarius, I feel that you have gained patience. Patience is a virtue. Oh, I love that. Okay. Patience is a virtue, Aquarius. And this time of age, we need patience dealing with so many things. As y'all know, I have told y'all a lot of time. I don't know if I, I told you, um, Aquarius, my Achilles heel is traffic. Can't handle it at all. Not in my town because it's like for me, why? But anyway... So let's see what the or oracles of the seven energies have to say. Okay. We have exposed and revealed and we have an eye. When I'm seeing with this right here, I'm seeing like the, um, the, oh my gosh, like the divine eye, like the eye of all seeing, um, the third eye. Okay. I'm seeing it because that clarity of being open. Okay. High priest. I'm still thinking about how I'm going to title this, um, Aquarius. Then we have spirit of gratitude. Oh, it's pretty colors. You are grateful for the things that you are gaining. You are grateful for the things that you have acquired. The patience, the knowledge, so on and so forth. Okay, Aquarius for April of 2023. Let's get two more cards if I can, please. April of 2023, that's one. We have, it is what it is. Now, when we say this, I feel that it's saying it is what it is as it is above as it is below. I feel that you have acquired your the, the third eye, your patience, knowledge, everything. So it is what it is. You're obtaining that. Got one more. We have broken open. I feel that with like right here with your symbol Aquarius, it's like you're open up to new possibilities. The possibilities you have are endless, bearing fruit like a fresh tree. Okay, Aquarius. I feel that you're gaining so much. It's like I got so many messages with y'all, Aquarius. I got to figure out how to title your message. So when you're listening to this, you're going to have like 6,000, not really, but messages within your message, Aquarius, when you're reading for April 2023, because I'm seeing so many things. But now, Aquarius, if this does not resonate with you, please check your other placements. All right. Now we're going to go to the psychic tarot of the heart oracle deck. We have trust. Exactly. Trust your intuition. Trust your knowledge. We have heal. You have to heal yourself. Look at all these cards right here. Broken open. Look at it. Look, they're healing themselves. We also have choose your battles. You don't, you, you, that's true to anything. You don't have to have an inner fight with everything. Just choose what you worry about. Okay. And even if you don't want to worry at all, you don't have to. Just choose your battles. A form of saying, but I don't have to deal with craziness. I'm just going to sit over here and chill. All right. Let's get one more. Let's see. Right. We'll take this one. This one was up. Refusing to see. Okay. 
darkness is telling me that light right here, their eyes are closed. You're not refusing to see. I don't see it that way, my dear Aquarius. I see you ignoring what you don't have to deal with. And that's what we're saying with choose your battles. Okay. If I don't want to be bothered with you, I don't have to see you. I can completely ignore you. And it may sound ugly. That's the human side of me that sometimes if you deal with people, you're like, look, I don't have to see you. You can just, just disappear. And I don't mean like that, but just get out of my face, get out of my way. All right, Aquarius, it's a side note for somebody. All right, now we're going with the Enchanted Map Oracle Deck, my dear Aquarius. All right, whoa, here we go. We have education, high priestess learning. Like I said, rock bottom. Rock bottom is popping up a lot uh, today, too, with other reasons as well. I don't feel this is a bad thing. I feel rock bottom for you is kind of like digging deep within like earth and coming up with more knowledge is power. Ghost land. Sometimes thoughts from the past can come in while you're doing deep meditations and things. Don't let it haunt you. Hence the word ghost land. Don't let it haunt you. That's for some people too. Okay, we'll take this one. Details, details. This is saying that there's details and things that we do when we are in deep contemplation, when we're learning. There's always details on things that we can learn and thrive and understand. These are too many cards right here. Normally, I wouldn't do that, but yeah. Details, 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 I keep. Here we go. Thank you. Magic prayer, meditations, contemplations. Like I said, strength, king of cups, high priestess, high strength energy. We'll go with this one into the unknown. When you are closing, you're going to the unknown, un new territories. Okay. New things that you're seeing, new vibrations. All right. Aquarius, April, 2023. Now let's look for the message from Archangel Michael and see what he has to say along with the other Archangels as well. We have be light to others. Like I'm saying right here with the high priestess energy, king of cups energy, be a light to others. Be that lighthouse. Help others if you have to. But don't over ex uh, um, exert yourself, please. All right. Angels of healing are with you. A time of healing is about to bless your life. Accept Archangel Raphael's emerald green light while I enhance your strength. You're being healed mentally, physically, so on and so forth. If you are helping others, that's how they're going to help you. They're going to help you help others. And then that way, when you're giving your energy, they can help you. We have, it's almost over. Your current challenges will soon be resolved and you'll be able to look at the future with a smile. So whatever it is that you're frustrated over, I know it's coming um, in soon. All right. Yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. That's why I was saying pick your battles. Choose your battles. All right? Because your results will be favorable with picking your battles. Just know what to ignore and just keep going. All right. These are your messages from your higher self, Aquarius. We are coming to the end of your reading. So left for April of 2023. So let's see what Aquarius has to say. Well, these have the card to say for Aquarius. <clears throat> April of 2023. I want you. Thank you. Protect what you love. It's your duty and responsibility. Okay. Your mind, your heart, your soul, your family. You know, they're given to you to be protector of. So protect what you love. Oh. We have. You are experiencing a spiritual blossoming. Take a new direction and be open to new experiences. Hence, the king of cups, the high priestess with the deep meditation. You. Thank you. Appreciate it. Awaken all your senses. Slow down and become aware of them. That's like what I was saying right here with you in the deep meditation. Slow down. You'll be aware of everything that you're doing. Whoa. Releasing your inner rebel. Be yourself and create your own universe. Be you. Be how you are. You do you. Only You only know yourself better than anybody. All right, Aquarius. There's so many times I got to come up with with you because so many messages with your um, meeting for April 2023. And that's a good thing because little bits and pieces might pertain to this person, not this person, so on and so forth. 
All right. With that being said, I hope that this reading helps you. And like I tell everyone in the other readings, if this does not resonate with you, Aquarius, please Aquarius, please check your other placements. All right. Now getting back to you, Aquarius, with that being said, I hope this gives you enlightenment. I hope that this helps you um, gain some strength and some determination. With that being said, I got to go. You have a great day. Love you. Bye.